Hey, 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 it's Dr. Rowe. Hope you are well. It's a Monday night, I think. Oh my gosh, it's been an intense weekend. I wanted to just take a, a little bit of time here to share something with you, which I think you'll find useful, particularly if you're, I mean, we're, I'm recording this as we're coming to the end of March. And what I found over the years working with so many people, but also in my own life, is that um, during these first three months, particularly as we embark on the year with ideas, projects, aspirations, goals that we've set, we tend to start to pick up stuff, i.e. You know, things on our to-do list, actions that have to be done, uh, new, new activities that we've brought or included into existing product projects or even new projects. And I find about this time of the year, it seems to be like a tip in the balance in terms of the time you've got available and the amount of things you've got to do. I'd be interested to see if you agree with that, if you've experienced that yourself. This is absolutely weird or maybe not, but it's a cyclical thing that I've noticed in, in decades now. And yes, I do a lot of speaking in the world of sort of property investing, but also if you think back 30, 35 years, I've done a lot of work over that time in the world of personal development in front of so many people. And a lot of the questions that come up about this time of the year are, oh my God, I'm getting a bit confused, you know, either they've lost track, lost focus, lost momentum, or picked up a lot of stuff that's going on. And now it's like, I'm not sure if I can achieve the goals I set. Why? Because I've done, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that, I'm doing that. That's strange because when you started the year, you had kind of primary goals and now it's gone boom. So if that's the case for you, I have five things that I think are going to work. And when I used to run the time management course, we used to call it Mastering Your Life, Mastering Your Future. We would do a whole section on literally a specific process for time management and those of you that happen to be followers of us on Cicado the podcast we did do a podcast on this but actually if you're a Cicado supporter um, we have some we have a whole video series on this so that might help you as well anyway that aside let me give you some key tips here so get ready for this first things first it's over there or is it over there it's there there it is download step number one download everything what do you mean download? Do you mean like get on my computer and download everything from the internet? No. What I mean is a life download, a project download, a to-do list download. So everything, everything, absolutely everything you've got on in your world, try and capture it on paper. So you either do it in a journal or if you're using some kind of digital system to organize your life, maybe you could use something like things, whatever you want to use. You've just got to get it down on paper because I suspect right now there's a lot of stuff floating around. You're like, ah, how do I handle that? How do I deal with that? And the best thing to do is just unload what's in your head down onto paper because you can really only consciously look at one thing at a time. Uh, yeah, I know people say that women can multitask and that's correct. However, at the moment that you're actually doing the task, you can only see that task. Unconsciously, you can process things in the background. That's where it gets challenging because as you do that, something else comes left of field or left of field that way in my case. And then you go, oh shit, let, let me, oh, yeah, I must do that. And then suddenly it builds up. So you're going to have a list of things in your head that you're fully aware of that you've said yes to or you're aware of that are in your sphere of influence that you sh should have done or maybe need to do. And there's a whole bunch of things that are floating around. And that's what causes a lot of people stress, the anxiety of how am I going to do all that? And actually half the time they don't actually get the scale of it. So what we have to do first is we have to take it and we download it. Another word for it is dump it. Okay, so download, download, download. Now people say to me, well, what specifically? Everything. Well, you mean everything? Yeah, any thought that you've got about something that you have to do that's potentially occupying your conscious space, write it down. And for now, it's just a list. Now, you, you can go to an, another extreme, which is what I used to teach people, which is gather everything in your bedroom, your, your, your kitchen, your bathroom, your, your office, stick it all together in one place that's a paperwork post-it notes as you can see here you know look at this i've got like four or five post-it notes from over the weekend when i was doing an event so these were reminders to myself and they were floating around but they're all actually in one place that's another extreme but i'm going to do that with you today main thing is capture thoughts anything on up in your head down on paper this is a really powerful technique then what i want you to do is group them what do you mean by group them? All right, well, think about it if projects, categories, you know, boxes of projects, however you want to phrase it, you will have everything that you've written down will fall into areas. Now, whether you want to categorize it into health, 
personal life, i.e. family, family domestic work, then work as in you know, projects, business, whatever, you can do that as well, that's important. But that process is not as straightforward as it seems. So you do need to look at it and go, right, that, where does it sit? Boo. Where does that sit? Boo. And see if you can literally place everything into some kind of titled project for, for you. I mean, look, the, the, the way we'd normally do it is you have an area of your life, and then within that area of life, you have projects underneath that. But I want to just keep it simple. Give it a name. Think of it as a box, and you're sorting out your room. Whatever you want to call it, project, group, category. But it needs to be placed into that grouping. Now, this is just a chance to, for you to clear the decks so you can breathe. And then when you're ready, you'd pick up that box, that category, that group, and you'd look at it and you say, right, okay, what needs to be done here? Now, my suggestion is for now, because there's going to be certain things that might cause you a little bit of panic, is to go and look at urgent and important. Now, I'm not going to get into priorities right now because we've got time to do it. But what you do is you go, right, what's urgent and important in this group or in this project or in this box? metaphor and you pull those things out and then you ask the quick then there's 3d so let me just back up a minute so I've got for the sake of argument I've got two projects on the, on the go in my business right so it's project a and project B and then I've got all the personal stuff relating to my family and then I've got maybe some financial things over there that I've categorized and I've got health over there just keeping it simple so you can dip into each of these and look into that list whether you've done it on a computer or on paper Paper's great because it's all mind mapping. It could be another way you've done it. And you go, right, what's urgent and important? There's a difference between important and there's a difference between urgent. But the ones that are urgent and important are always the ones that you tend to be firefighting, that create the greatest level of stress, but also a level of focus. And you've got to, for now, just pull those out because uh, we're not, I don't want to go through a full time management system here and organizing so you just deal with those you pull those out and now they have to come into your periphery leaving everything else in the boxes i know you want to think about them but not right now okay now having pulled them out this is where it gets interesting you do the three d's right what are the three d's bro okay the three d's are this d for defer now you might think it's urgent and important but can it be deflected or deferred can it be moved back or assigned to a date that's another way to put it right so can I just literally just move it back okay that is urgent and important I can move that back to Thursday so I defer it to Thursday that's the first D the second D is do I even need to do it can I just dump it is it really that important and urgent have you created that yourself is it something somebody's put on you or is it a perceived importance and urgency you go you know what this is not really massive it's not hugely important maybe it's a phone call to say you know what I can't do this or whatever boom so you dump it so is there anything in that grouping that you can just dump so we're either deferring we're dumping or we're gonna delegate it to somebody else okay well okay <laughs> this is interesting because there is a fourth D which by default you get to which is to do it so if you really want to add the fourth D in there I'm gonna I'm going to delegate it up. You know what? John can do this. I don't have to do this. John can do it. Sarah can do this. She's brilliant at that. And that's her role. Or it could be a member of the family. So you need to get to a situation where, for the sake of argument, you've got this list. Am I still clear there? Yeah. So you've got a list there. 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 So these are your groupings. And then that list, you've basically either dumped it deferred it, um, you've given it to somebody to delegate, and whatever's left is you, where you do it. So once you've done the three Ds, you're left with the last D, which is basically, ah, right, that's what I have to do now. Perfect. And it's a really good thinning process, and it works. It works virtually every time I've done it. And I would sometimes just do it on an ongoing basis. I've got a, I've got a whiteboard up there, which I've just written some stuff up last week, and I, I looked at it and I thought, actually, some of that I can pass on, some of it I, I can knock it back. There was nothing I could actually dump there because it was all pretty important. I already knew that. So now I'm left with what I need to do. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. If it does, great. And if it doesn't, then maybe watch the video again. Just thought it'd be useful for you. 
And what was I also going to say? The other thing I was going to say is the um, this process, if done on a consistent and regular basis, actually is like relieving the pressure of a pressure cooker. It never actually builds up. You never get to the explosive level. Now, of course, there's a load of stuff in those boxes we talked about, but that's a whole discussion for a different day, which is how you now go into those and start to prioritize, decide you know, how they form, form into projects, what you leave, what you let go, what you pass on, etc. That's for another time. Anyway, have a great evening. Enjoy that. Remember, download, download, 